My name is Rod Baltzer, B-A-L-T-Z-E-R. I'm the president and CEO of WCS, and I'm here to ask for the support tonight of the community. Uh, WCS has been a proud part of this community since 1995 when we started construction of our facility on the Texas-New Mexico border near Eunice. We began hazardous waste operations in 1997, radioactive storage and treatment in 1999, and radioactive waste disposal in 2012. We did decide to do high-level waste after a long time. Uh, we opened up in 2012. The Blue Ribbon Commission came out and said interim storage would be an important part. People asked us if we would be interested as we were successful in low-level waste. After discussions with the communities, we decided to proceed. We've got approximately 170 employees at our facility, half in New Mexico and half in Texas. They participate in both communities, and WCS sponsors scholarships and supports organizations on both sides of the border. The region's been found environmentally suitable for other nuclear facilities in addition to WCS, including Eurinco, which was licensed by the NRC. The geology, site characteristics, arid environment, and other factors at WCS are ideal for the storage of spent nuclear fuel. WCS is not sited over any drinking water source and is 10 miles south of and not connected to the Ogallala Aquifer, as conformed, uh, confirmed by the State Water Development Board. The board updated their maps based on oil and gas drilling information in the area, not WCS data. WCS is one of the most regulated businesses in this area, with licenses and permits and authorizations from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, the Environmental Protection Agency, and numerous customer and contractual commitments. WCS has a great safety and environmental track record. We have over 600 borings, over 400 monitoring wells are gauged, 121 of which are sampled, 26 air monitoring stations, which are more than WIP and Uranco combined, numerous soil, flora, fauna samples, all showing zero environmental impact from our operations. We hope this allows the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to streamline their environmental review by relying on work that has already been done. We anticipate all the fuel will arrive by highly tested, extremely safe transport cask on rail. Our partners, Arriva TN and NAC, are global leaders. Uh, Riva alone has made more than 5,000 shipments of spent nuclear fuel without any radiological releases. I've also heard that DOE would take title and then taxpayers would be on the hook for this waste. Taxpayers are already on the hook for this waste. Uh, DOE was supposed to pick that up. Uh, they did not pick that fuel up starting in 1998 and taxpayers are paying through the judgment fund instead of ratepayers through the nuclear waste fund. Our facility would allow that to change. Assuming the license is issued in 2019, we could start construction of the facility in 2021. This would help us diversify our business and more fully utilize the entire facility. A healthy company like WCS is not oil and gas dependent. It's beneficial to diversify the local economies and provide higher paid professional jobs for our children.